So does anybody know uh, how much uh, is given through employee volunteering and giving uh, each year and, and matching? Mm. Does anyone know? How much? Four billion. Four billion. OK, I've heard five billion. So we're, 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 about, this, we're about similar. So good. I, well, both answers are correct, let's say that. <laughs> anyone know what this number is? This is the number of dollars that corporations reserve for donation matching that goes unclaimed every year, wow. which represents about $20 billion to nonprofits. Uh, and you know, this is the reason uh, that I created CauseCast. I thought there, there's what is wrong you know, uh, with this system that we've got you know, more than double the money is, is sitting on the sidelines. Uh, and so what we do at, at CauseCast is we've got a, um, we help companies create uh, engagement programs, volunteering and giving programs that really help you know, move the needle uh, for, for uh, corporate uh, goals, but also get, uh, uh, achieve nonprofit goals uh, as well. And we do that through a very robust technology platform. One of the things that I saw, you know, I thought was missing in the space was really um, kind of bringing the, all of the magic that you get from the internet inside of the corporation, you know, the social media, you know, the engagement uh, that, that people have with each other. And you know, one of the things that I, I learned is that you know, the biggest reason that people give or volunteer is simply because somebody asks them to. So it's not really the corporation you know, set, you know, saying, dictating, like, we're going to give to United Way, but their you know, co-workers saying, hey, come, come to this event with me, and kind of leveraging themselves up the, this, this ladder of engagement. And so we bring a lot of that you know, into this platform. You, you can see there's people's social media icons there. You know, one of the reasons I think that the, the donation matching uh, isn't, going, isn't being claimed is because people didn't know how much they had left. Like, I don't know if I have $5,000 left or if I have $5 left. So bringing that up into the front was really important. So that's one way that, that we engage folks. Another way is through um, a robust story capture mechanism. So if you've got thousands of people out in the community volunteering and giving, you know, you've really got thousands of stories. Uh, how does the corporation actually you know, collect all those stories and then disseminate it back you know, to the public, but then also, more importantly, you know, to the employees themselves? And that required you know, integrating it with mobile. People are out in the community you know, volunteering. What are they doing with their, the photos that they're taking that day? Are they putting them onto Facebook? Or are they giving them back inside the corporation and then putting them out to Facebook? That's the way they should be doing it. So we built that into the system as well. Uh, but then on the other side of it, not, you know, sort of outside of the system, is built, making large uh, uh, partnerships that can bring many corporations together uh, to, to work on kind of similar things together. Uh, I heard a statistic, only about 5% of giving goes through corporations and matching, and then we've got another 330 billion that go through individuals. Well, what do those go through? A lot of it is going through things like uh, Movember, Giving Tuesday. Uh, you know, a lot of these campaigns that we've heard of it before, those needed to be brought into the corporation as well, and, and some companies are already starting to, to do that. We've, we really um, encapsulate that into the platform as well, and this is an example of a, a partnership we did with uh, the White House, uh, where we had, and this was for STEM education, especially for, for girls, they came to us and said, can you get this campaign out to corporations? And so we built the campaign in our platform and took it to multiple companies, and they participated, each in their own different way, but we were able to track it on this campaign layer, and then the, the White House was able to be a megaphone for it. Mm -hmm. So the companies got a tremendous amount of value out of this that they wouldn't have gotten if they had just done it themselves. And we're talking about some companies that only had you know, 300 people. They were not going to get you know, a big PR uh, benefit from doing uh, a campaign around girls in STEM. They're going to get some benefit from the corporation, but bringing in bigger partners, and we, again, we partner with you know, Giving Tuesday and Movember and all these other organizations allows them to get a heck of a lot more exposure and a lot more excitement inside their company as well. And so what we're seeing is that companies are increasing giving. And I think this is great news, especially in the light of the CFC uh, and what's happening there. And we're seeing this um, not only with, the, with individual companies, like for example, uh, Neiman Marcus is one of our clients. When they first started with us, they immediately saw 50% more giving uh, than before. And they thought, and they actually said this, that was easy. Uh, so now they started doing, then they started doing disaster response campaigns. You know, instantly something would happen, they'd respond to it immediately and generate a few thousand dollars each time. Then they said, that was easy too. Uh, now we're going to start to do a volunteering program, which was something they were never able to do before with 90 locations. How were they going to manage this process? But the software made it easy enough for them to actually do that. Now that, I, I look at it as kind of an immeasurable, how do you measure how much more that is? It's not like it's doubling or tripling, it's adding something that didn't even exist before. And that's on an individual company basis. But what we're seeing also is because we've built something that's so um, scalable and very easy to use, and it's not, a, it's not a big custom piece of software for every client, that we're also seeing growth in the number of companies that are doing it. At this point, we're seeing, I mean, if you look at it, there's about 500 Fortune 500. Of course, there's exactly 500. <laughs> 
But there's about 7 million other businesses, and they all want to do this stuff, even startups. I mean, I'm in San Francisco now, and I'm seeing companies that have 10 people say, oh, yeah, we really want to do this. That it wouldn't be really possible for them to have done it in the past, and we're seeing just massive growth. We're seeing actually literally about one company a day coming to us saying they want to do this and their new programs. So I think we're going to see a ton more uh, giving going on. So what I want to uh, talk to you about today is how uh, you, uh, as an organization, can start to leverage this. And there's, there's the, the if you're, it, big companies are going to do it differently than small companies, especially the, these newer ones that we're seeing. So I'm going to show you, talk to you a little bit about what companies want, uh, how you can give and get more from these relationships, and then what I think the future holds. So first, a little bit about what companies want. Now, I know this is hard to read. Uh, so what I did was I actually put it online. But this is what I call the virtuous cycle of employee cause engagement. Uh, and, and it is a cycle because it, it feeds back into itself. And you know, the, the big goal for companies is to increase employee, uh, is to, with employee volunteering and donating, to, they, they want to get a, a lot of different benefits out of this. One of them is this improves their community engagement, which improves their, their public relations. This also it results in increased employee engagement and lengthens retention. That's something that they can measure. Um, this, it could also, if you do mentoring programs, build an applicant pipeline. Really important. We heard about that earlier. This can um, increase job candidate interest, so getting, again, getting more people in. If you're doing the right kind of volunteer opportunities, um, it can, especially, you know, board service is a great example of this. Uh, it's, it, it builds skills and is a type of leadership training. Um, ultimately, this can lead to improved profitability and higher market cap. We've seen studies showing this, that 30% of a company's market cap is directly related to their, um, their standing in the community. Um, and if you're tracking and, and measuring all this stuff, it results in increased investment in the program, which feeds back into the cycle. And there's more that you could add to this, of course, but uh, you know, this I think gives you a, a good way of, uh, of thinking of what companies, how they're thinking about this. And this is what they want. They want ROI. And increasingly, they're going to they're be demanding it and measuring it uh, internally. So again, you know, I think kind of just the, the few top pillars, the top lines of this is improved recruiting uh, and retention, as I, as I touched on. Uh, improved communications, not just externally, like through Twitter and Facebook and things like that, but uh, also, especially, you know, reflecting back to the employees the, the good that they've done, uh, and even the, the employees that were not able to participate in it, it really increases you know, the, 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 internal com the value of the internal communications. And as I touched on earlier, skills building uh, and leadership development. So how can you, know, you as a, a, an organization start to leverage this? Uh, and again, with some of the smaller companies, they're at, a, they're at such a, a preliminary sophistication level that some of the things I'm going to say are, are kind of very it's a little bit obvious, uh, but except for this one. It's creating a progression uh, of opportunities. So you've got like really these kind of entry level things, and they're good to have. And, uh, it's very important. Um, but, and that's going to be the base level that's going to get some folks to start to participate. But what do they do after that? What do they do after they've painted that room in your office? You don't make them paint that room. But what do they do after <laughs> they've they built the house? Uh, is there something more in depth that they can get into? And, and I think board service is so much higher than that. You're not going to get people going from painting to jumping to board service. But are there things that you can create in the middle uh, that help folks get uh, more involved and more engaged. And I think there's an interesting uh, trend starting now, too. And I, some of this existed in prep schools, but it's now being brought into the corporations, the idea of a junior board, mm -hmm. where you don't have to make an enormous financial commitment, but you still get to participate in the board. Maybe you help them do fundraisers. And that's something that we're starting to, to get involved with at, at CauseCast. So that's, that's, that's one really important thing to do. The other thing is to learn how to tell uh, good stories. And companies will do some storytelling on their own, but to jumpstart them, I think it's really important when uh, a company volunteers uh, or gives you to be able to tell stories of impact and reflect that back to the company and do it through public channels. Uh, and they will be compelled to start to spread that word uh, as well. They don't always know the impact. They're not always told what it is. And I think it's really important for you as an organization to learn how to tell good, good stories. And the reason I have Billion Plus Change up there, this is an initiative of Points of Light Foundation. They exist to tell stories about service, especially around skills-based volunteering. And so I think they're a good example. They're a good place to go to find out how it really just you, you can just kind of use them as a, as a template. Taking photos. Again, companies will do this if they remember. And obviously, and they should deputize somebody in the company to do it. But just in case they don't, take your own. And then you can get photos of uh, everybody. And again, share it everywhere, especially back with the company and out into social media. And again, this is, seems very simple, but the, a lot of the companies coming on board are not thinking to do these things, and we want to get them really excited about, about this. And that really shows them an ROI right away. They think, and, and they're not wrong about this, but seeing something on Twitter 
they, they can see that, oh, look, our employee tweeted about us, or this organization tweeted about us, and the, the employee pushed it out again. That's a real thing we can point to. So here's what I think the future holds uh, for this space. I mean, the, the tools and the services are going to continue to improve. And, and I think you know, we're, we're seeing uh, a lot of that here today, the evolution of the space and the kind of services that you're providing at America's Charities, along with the tools that we're able to provide, are going to really help move the, the space forward. But companies are going to continue to expect uh, more out of these relationships. And I think it's, it's quite possible for you to, to do it without overwhelming yourself. Um, and, and organizations are going to continue to give more value and get a lot more in return. And I think we're going to be able to start to get at a lot of that money that we're, that's left on the table. Um, you know, as a result of this, relationships are going to really start to deepen. And companies and organizations are going to consider each other true partners, which we've talked about uh, tons today. Uh, and so, you know, in, in summary, uh, I think that the company's main goal is improving recruiting and retention, the main one that they can actually, you know, measure. That's the one they always come to us about. Like, we can't hire people. We can't find these. You know, millennials will not come to us because they don't think, you know, they, they think we're a corporate good guy. And we need to really show that. Um, you can really start to leverage these new tools to compile and share your great stories. It's really important. Uh, and then deepen these relationships. And, and I think the future is all about building trust. And you're going to have a lot of deep, long-term relationships uh, with these companies. So thank you.